The Book of Affirmations by Noah St. John. Many people are already familiar with positive affirmations, which means repeating positive phrases of how you want to be, like, "I am amazing. I radiate charisma, charm, and grace. Everyone wants to be around me." And it's quite obvious from many of my videos that I am a big fan of affirmations. I believe affirmations have their use, but I am also realistic enough to know that oftentimes affirmations are just not enough to achieve the success and the results we want. So I will teach you how to start changing your life by asking a new kind of question. In the midst of taking a shower one night, Noah St. John came up with an idea to start turning affirmations into positive questions. So instead of saying "I have so much money," for example, you would instead ask. Why do I have so much money? Noah called these affirmations. So why are affirmations more powerful than affirmations? Well, pay attention to your mind right now. Did your mind try to search for the answer? It seems that the human brain automatically tries to seek solutions to a question, like it's part of our DNA. On top of that, there is a problem with affirmations. For example, try to say, "I am a millionaire." Now, unless you are one already. If you listen really carefully, you might have heard a voice in the back of your head say something like, "Who are you kidding? No, you're not, you idiot." According to Noah, how you currently perceive reality is your CPR, and what you want to change is your new desired reality, or NDR, and in this case, becoming a millionaire. The intensity of that voice represents your belief gap. That is the difference between your current and desired reality. So to close this gap. Noah believes we should start asking questions, preferably beginning with why rather than how. How questions provide a method, and why provides motivation. He says we all have the how of doing things like hugging a cactus, or picking a fight with Chuck Norris, but we don't have the why. He says if we ask, "How did I become rich?" your mind would probably be stumped and simply tell you, "What are you talking about? I don't know." On the other hand, why questions assume that what you want is already true and will activate that part of your brain that will seek to make it so. So while Noah says there's absolutely nothing wrong with how questions, he believes why questions trump how questions any day. But it's important to make sure you're only asking empowering questions. Many people, whether consciously or unconsciously, ask themselves disempowering questions like, "Why am I so fat? Why am I so broke?" These questions can make your life go crashing downwards, so always try to replace these with positive questions. It's also important to understand that every problem at its root is a question or a series of questions. For example, global warming: How can we stop destroying the planet and still live the prosperous lives we want? Wait: How can I lose weight, be healthy, and still enjoy the foods I want? Money. How can I make more money without sacrificing my family, my values, or my freedom? Even Einstein said, "If I had an hour to solve a problem and my life depended on the solution, I would spend the first 55 minutes determining the proper questions to ask. For once, I know the proper question. I could solve the problem in less than five minutes." Now, I'm not as smart as Einstein, but about two months ago, I made a video called "How to Get More Views on YouTube." 30 questions you must ask, and some people made fun of it because it only got around 50 views. But what people didn't realize is that I made that video mainly for myself. I knew that if I asked these questions enough daily, it would lead me to the right answers. And now, two months later, my views have gone up thanks to asking the right questions. Now, of course, I have no plans to stop asking myself these questions. Also. Noah's The Book of Affirmations was one of the things that really inspired me to make the seventh step of my infinite loop system to be evaluate and evolve. That is to look back at my day and ask myself questions like, "Why am I becoming more productive? Why are various areas of my life improving? How can I improve my infinite loop system?" Now Noah doesn't believe affirmations alone will lead to results. In fact. He has a four-step system consisting of desire, belief, action, and result. But the overall message of his book is start asking empowering questions. So, regardless of your goals, whether you want to improve your wealth, health, relationships, or whatever, remember to begin by asking the right questions. And before you know it, 
you'll be experiencing your new desired reality. So my question for you is, why will you begin to start using affirmations today? Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Aaron Tupaz of Positively Brainwashed, and if you like this video, then choose one of the following. You can either A, subscribe and like, B, listen to the share bear over there and show that you care, C, watch my latest video, or D, tell me to lock myself in the cage.